Hi, you guys, and welcome back to Planning a Life with Penguins. If you're new here, hi, my name's Teresa, and I'm into all things crafting, geeky, gaming, beauty, anything and everything in between. And so welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a planner video all about paper planners. I was asked in the comments on my YouTube channel to show you guys my crafting space, how I store my happy planners, all of my supplies and all of that stuff. So I went ahead and filmed that, but I filmed it more in a vlog style so I filmed smallish videos and kind of put them together into one big video to show you guys my space. And I hope you guys enjoy. I don't have like a dedicated crafting space, but I have dedicated areas within the space that I'm in. So I wanted to show that to you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you hear some squeaking, that's my dog with her squeaky toy. She felt that right then was the time that it was time to play. So I'll do my best in the editing process. I'm filming this before I finish the edits, but I hope you guys enjoy and let's take a tour of my happy planner storage and crafting space. Okay, so first of all, I have this wall right here that has this Ikea Calyx shelf right here. And this is where I am now keeping some of my most used items. So this cubby right here, this is all happy notes in all the different sizes of the ones that I have. So that's what that is. Right here is the current planners that I'm using. So the big uh, teacher planner, the Cosmic Watercolor Vertical, Alice in Wonderland Vertical, Groovy Teacher, Teacher Planner, and the uh, newest Stargazer, it's an 18 month planner. So that's what is there. I also have a jar of discs. These are all of my Mickey discs, that's where I keep them. And I have the Stargazer Be Happy Box box in the back. Down here, these are, Interesting. You have guided journals up to about here. And then from here forward, you have uh, on disc, some expanded, some not, my collection of filler paper. I It needed to find a home. And so I have it actually separated by type, whether it's dot grid, line, dotted line, whatever. Um, it is in those four uh planners right there I wouldn't even call them planners notebooks whatever it's holding my filler paper and then I have the same thing right here only in mini size it's holding all of my full page mini uh filler paper no uh half sheet filler paper that is in another place and then I have my stitch be happy box right there and that is a picture of my grandfather so that is what is right here like right next to my desk all right, I think most of you know that we just moved. So that's what that is over there. But I do have my Happy Planner stuff sorted. So right here on this shelf are all of my used Happy Planners, big ones, classic ones. And then if you go down one shelf, you have four more classics and two minis. Most of my minis I haven't kept, um, but these are the ones that I've decided to keep. These three bigs are from school, whether they were mine or ones that I used for my students. And then all of these are all different planners that I have used whether they're complete or not, or partially complete, they're right here. All right, now this is what I think people probably wanted to see. Yes, that is a closet. <laughs> so I have my two Lexington cards in here, and I have my rainbow drawer card in here as well. And this is where I keep my stickers. So I have in this top one right here, these are all stickers from like other companies that were sold at Michael's. These are those little cards that I put on discs. These are those stickers that kind of like open and stuff. I separated them by type and put them on these pieces of cardstock and put them on discs. These are all of my stickers. I have all of my Disney stuff up here on top and my mini uh, stickers are here. So I have all my regular Disney. I have my mini Disney's and then all of my mini stickers. And then I have all these like smaller books. They are right here. And then back here, these are from those multi-packs that they sold that was like stickers and then cards. 
and then I can't remember. Oh, there was sticky notes in the middle. So I actually cut all of these up and I put all of the actual sticker parts, if I can get it back in here, are in there. On the next shelf, I have them organized. It's like boxes, planner essentials, and other stuff. You've got florals here, uh, and I think seasonal, and then you've got some of like the more just generic, like kind of color stories. You've got brights, like rainbow dreams, like all of that stuff is here. And then if you come down one more, you've got Stargazer, you've, and then back here, some of the like womankind encouragement, all of that. You have these planner packs. Everyone say hi to Penny. Penny, say hello. You have these like planner accessory packs. Okay, sorry about that. You have these planner accessory books that came out that were like, they had like a strip of note paper right here. They have sticky notes and then they have stickers right here. So I don't use these as much as I should use them, but they're here nonetheless. And then my big sticker books. All right, in my rainbow drawers, I have these separated into different things. So we'll go through them really quickly. The bottom one right here is all bigs and big accessories, and apparently it's getting too heavy. This is all bookmarks, dashboards, and some of the ones that have sticky notes on it. And then underneath here are all of those plastic envelopes. Those are, uh, I guess, class, whatever you wanna use them for. These are all classic folders. In the yellow drawer, we have all non-happy planner stickers. We've got like, you know, random sticky sticker books, sticky books, random sticker books. Um, oh, we have these, which are those big, giant Disney stickers. I guess I didn't know where to put those, so I have them here. Texas stickers, penguin stickers, just like all kinds of stuff. In here, we have kits and everything that I bought off Etsy and have from actually a time when I was on um, different... Uh, Etsy sticker PR groups. This one is all covers and dividers that I've decided to keep from old planners. This one is all mini. This is mini accessories, mini bookmarks, mini folders, mini sticky notes, mini everything is in here. This one right here is all half sheets, whether they're mini or classic size, all of my half sheet stuff is in this drawer. The orange drawer is my washi collection that I never use, but I actually thinned it down. There, This drawer was coming out of its ears and I actually cut down like three quarters of it. That's pretty bad, huh? And the last drawer is where I have all of like my sticky notes. I have punchers, I have my HP sprocket, I have a bunch of these paper clip bookmark things, so just kind of random stuff, but this is where all of like my sticky notes are. And then sitting on top is my bag of pens and my bag of highlighters. One of the last little areas is over here on my desk. I actually have individual sticker sheets. I have those dashboard uh, dashboards that have stickers on them, page flags, my pens that I use here at home. I have my notepad that I use for our weekly fridge calendar. And I have two of my current happy notes that I use all the time. They're over here on my desk, as well as some trash <laughs> and my current planner. So as you guys can tell, I do not have a craft room like some of the other planners have a craft room. I actually share this office space with all of the rest of my hobbies as well as my husband. He has a desk in here, I have a desk in here. Uh, and then it's kind of like my hobby space. I do everything in here, so it's not just crafts. So I decided to put my sticker books or, and my other planner accessories and stuff in the closet so that way they wouldn't take up space out in the main room. And then I'm using some of my shelving and stuff for like obviously my planners and things like that. 
like that. So hopefully this answers all of your questions. Sorry about all the squeaking from my dog. She decided to wake up. I think it's because the barometric pressure changed and we're about to start getting some rain. So now she's like, we gotta play, we gotta play, we gotta play. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video and may the force be with you. Have a magical day. Bye.